Hi, I'm Tom Russell with Home News Now, and we are here at Stickley Furniture in Archdale, North Carolina at their upholstery manufacturing facility. I'm here with Amanda Douglas Martin, HR manager, Paul Peters, director of upholstery merchandising, and Scott Thornton, operations manager at Stickley Furniture. Thank you all so much for having us today. This is the first time I've been out here in all these years in the industry, and it's a treat, believe me. Um, so we're here at the upholstery production facility, and one of the things that we've been talking about has been some of the challenges with labor and recruitment, retention, et cetera. Amanda, you, you deal with this issue day in and day out. Tell us how it's going. It's, it's a universal problem, we know, right. with labor. It's definitely, you know, it, it was very challenging for a long time, um, but it's starting to get uh, quite a bit better. Uh, we have implemented several programs this year uh, in 2022 at Stickley across both of our manufacturing facilities, both in uh, Manly's New York and here at our Archdale, North Carolina facility, um, just to attract and retain people. Um, you know, some of the, just a sampling of the programs include our join and stay bonus that we added, um, we also made wage adjustments across the board for all of our employees at both locations. Um, we implemented a perfect attendance program where folks can earn extra time off in addition to the time off they already get. Mm -hmm. And we've enhanced many of our benefits such as our 401k, our, um, our life insurance, and some of the other benefits that we offer. So we really are trying to be the place to work and, and we want to not just offer people a job. You know, we want to offer people a career path and an opportunity to come in and do their best work and be part of the Stickley family. That's what we're shooting to do around sure. here. Yeah. Have you noticed an effect? Is it having a positive effect from what you've seen? Absolutely. We, we mm -hmm. definitely, um, you know, we experienced a little bit of turnover mm -hmm. in 2021. I've heard a lot of other folks in the industry refer to it as the great resignation of 2021. <laughs> and unfortunately, one. you know, we experienced that here as well. Yeah. But we're finally starting to recover and attract some really awesome talent. And we're also bringing some folks on board that have never worked in a furniture manufacturing a facility before and we're teaching them the stickly way and creating a great career path for them so it's been great. Well that's where we kind of segue into the next subject stickly university yes which is an, a very you have a whole pod yes. area devoted to this tell us a little bit about, about this. Well Paul. For, for me uh, you know number one being so custom oriented with our product line we've got to have really high levels of, of skill uh, and uh, so we can't just have people walk off the street mm -hmm. and, and start tomorrow. So yeah. uh, the exciting thing is uh, is also the training uh, initiatives with Stickley University yeah. that we're implementing that we're, you know, people want to learn if they're given the opportunity and mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're providing that opportunity. So I, I think it's really exciting for our for our future of our custom upholstery business. That's great. So they kind of learn sort of the basics or kind of come in from the ground, ground zero and come in and, and learn. How long does it take them generally to get through <coughs> the uh, university? Well, in average, before we started using the training cell that we have, our Stickley yeah. University, yeah. Um, it could take nine to 12 months to get somebody to be able to upholster a piece by themselves. Mm -hmm. Since we've transitioned over to our Stickley University, we're able to get them out in four to six months. Wow. Um, and, and they're actually turning pieces. Mm -hmm. It's not them still having to ask a bunch of questions. They're now ready to actual upholster pieces uh, mm -hmm. by themselves. They'll still have support. Um, it, it goes in stages when they first come in. The first stage, they're gonna learn the very, very basics. They could have never touched a hammer, a nail gun, uh, any piece that you use to upholster. Um, the first thing they do is they get acclimated to those tools for safety, yeah. right? But then they're taught how to use them the right way. Yeah. And then once they get acclimation to the tools, they start learning pieces. And they do it in cycle. Um, it'll, they'll start with, it'll either be seats, backs, mm -hmm. or bottoms. But generally, you'll take those individuals and they'll work a, a portion at a time and they'll do it in cycles. Mm -hmm. So once they do the the seats, they'll move to the arms. Once they do the arms, they move to the backs. And then they rotate until they've hit all three sections of the pieces so they can move it forward. Yeah. Uh, and then once they're able to actually build a piece, 
when they're able to come out of the training cell, yeah. then they'll go onto a table where they're close to somebody who can continue to mentor them, that they're ready for a furniture building. Excellent. And you have somebody out there that was has like 30 years experience. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. helping guide them along the way too. That's great. Yeah, I think what's interesting is, you know, I've, I've been in factories over the years where trainee comes in and they're Ottoman builders ah. before they get a chance, a crack at the real stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, with the process that, the, that, you know, that we're implementing, uh, the idea is to get these producing high quality, high value pieces mm -hmm. sooner rather than later. Yeah. And it's a skilled trade. You know, we want to teach, especially students. We talk to a lot of students in, in local uh, high schools who, you know, they don't they don't know anything about manufacturing. And, and for some, there's a stigma. Like, oh, a manufacturing plant, it's, it's dirty. You don't, you don't make any money. No, absolutely not. Like, that is not the case. We want to really show them that they can be successful in a manufacturing career. And this is a great way to learn a skilled trade and make good money while you do it. Sounds like yep. it. And we ask them to come in and take a tour. Sure. Because without that knowledge base, never seeing it, um, it's an opportunity to see that manufacturing environment. And overall, this is a clean manufacturing facility. Yeah. Climate controlled. <laughs> yeah. It's great. And that's always a plus. Yes. <laughs> and it sounds like with the people you have on board, the 95 direct roughly and the 35 indirect, kind of more an administrative position, sounds like you're pretty close, getting closer to your full employment level so are you are you confident that in the near future you'll kind of be where you need to be absolutely and, like yeah. we're you know by the end of 2022 you know we hope to add at least um 30 ish more people okay. right scott is that about that, right correct. in the estimate and, and it's based on our our work sales yeah. too yeah. so we're just not gonna hire them all at once so what we're doing is we have a ramp plan and and we're ramping up so every time we get the ability to get more frames, more of our supply, we bring on more people and, sure. and work our way through. Because we're still trying to hire uh, trained upholsterers, right? Yeah. But we still stick them over into our training cell because we want them to do it the stickly way. But we're working on doing that based on what we can output. You know, we plan on almost doubling our output by the end of the year. Wow, that's pretty impressive. 40% uh, is our goal. Well, I think one thing that we can all be happy about is whenever the furniture industry is in hiring mode, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and in a growth mode now. But it uh, sounds like things are going great here, and uh, we're glad to, uh, to learn a little bit and uh, kind of be, you know, sort of learning and, and getting an insight into the stickly way. So thank you all again for having us. and. Uh, we look forward to uh, staying in touch with you folks. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah.